He made history in San Diego as the first Asian American on the San Diego City Council. We're celebrating community during Asian Pacific Islander Heritage Month. ABC 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha caught up with Tom Hom to talk about the challenges he faced growing up and the legacy he hopes to leave behind. Tom Hom has lived a life full of music, art, family, and public service. Even today, I'm 94. He's still going, although virtual meetings have made it easier. Zoom helps a bit. Tom holds the title of the first Asian American, actually first non-Caucasian person to sit on the San Diego City Council. But like the title of his memoir, it was a bumpy road. His family is from China. His dad came to San Diego as a teenager. He learned the story of David and Goliath. So he adopted his American name as David. Tom only spoke Chinese as a child. He lost his mother at a young age. That's me. That's my dad. His father eventually remarried and became a successful businessman, starting what ended up becoming the largest produce wholesaler in San Diego. It was when Tom was 12, during a trip to City Hall, his father said something he'd never forget. He said to me, uh, Tom, in America, the laws that come out of here is dependent on the kind of people they put in there. His father died when Tom was just 16. Tom and his siblings took over the family business. He eventually got into real estate during a time when racial deed restrictions prevented him and other minorities from buying homes in certain neighborhoods. From discrimination in housing to adversity in public office. In his 30s, Tom wanted to dive into politics. Question was if politics wanted him. In order to run, I spoke to one of the leaders uh, in politics, I said, I would like to run, and uh, uh, how do I start? And he said, Tom, uh, the time may not be ready. Uh, you're a minority. Despite doubts from others, he ran anyway for state assembly. He lost. He tried again. And this time, in 1963, he came out on top, becoming the first minority ever elected to the San Diego City Council. District 4, Tom Hum. A groundbreaking moment. It was a uh, 57 years ago. From city council, he served in the assembly. This is Ron Reagan as a governor. That's me right there. The list of Tom's service to San Diego is long. He was essential in the effort to build what was then Jack Murphy Stadium. He became the founding president of the Gaslamp Quarter Association, helping to revitalize downtown. That effort hit a big setback in 1989. That's when a building he owned that housed the Farmer's Bazaar burned down in a huge fire. But through the difficulties of life, including the death of his first wife, Dorothy, his art was a comfort. Tom's Chinese culture often depicted in his work. Sir, I painted this painting here. This one, now the cover of a children's book Tom wrote, distributed in English and Chinese. After Tom, it took decades before another person of Asian descent was elected to city council. Current mayor Todd Gloria and council member Chris Kate. And Todd Gloria, I talked to him, and matter of fact, if I'm in the audience where he's giving a talk, he'll always point me out. <laughs> the reason I'm here is because Tom, I'm over there. As time ticks on, Tom leaves us with words of understanding. My dad always say, judge people by their character. You learn this person who has a good character, then you learn to like them. Then laugh after liking them, you can even love them. Melissa Masiha, ABC 10 News. Tom has written and illustrated two children's books. His memoir titled Rabbit on a Bumpy Road is available online. What a life, wow. <laughs>